Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday to you. Can't believe another week has gone by. Uh, kind of feel like I hadn't really accomplished anything, but I'm looking back and I'm thinking, I did learn something very valuable and kind of learned it the hard way, but I learned it early and I'm glad I learned it early. And that is, unfortunately, you can't hire a window cleaner. You have to make a window cleaner. And that's not uh, that's not a slight or a, or a negative comment towards window cleaners, but I was talking to uh, Michael Goler the other day, and he was he described the situation perfectly. Window cleaners are professional; they're detailed, they're meticulous, but they're also freelancing in nature. They're going with the with whatever's easiest. And I can't speak for all window cleaners, but uh, we tried a new a new team member the other day. Great technique, this kid was great. Showed up on time, looked professional, but he only showed up for the first job. And then the second job, he didn't show up. He didn't even mention that he wasn't gonna show up. He just didn't show up. And so we had to adjust our entire day. Uh, to accommodate. Anyway, <clears throat> so if you're trying to run a business, you're trying to build a service that can produce a certain value by the end of the day. You need people that can show up on time, work hard, do what they say that they're going to do. Um, and the discussion was that you almost have to look for somebody who has blue collar experience but has white collar aspirations. Somebody who wants to run their own franchise one day but is good with their hands, is intuitive with their body. You know, they, they were in sports, they mowed lawns as a kid, they have some level of mechanical aptitude and when you work with people like that and you can show them a vision of what you want your company to be, then they're willing to work hard towards that vision. But if they're focused on you know, their own vision, or which is not a bad thing, um, I think ultimately um, we learned a valuable lesson and we made a decision that was obviously best for our company. We can't work with somebody that can't, that can't uh, give us the courtesy of a phone call to let us know, hey, I'm not gonna be there at the second job. It's not gonna work out. I don't wanna waste your time. I respect that. I don't respect a, a 45 minute delay, hour delay, wondering if you made it or wondering if you got into a wreck. You know, that's, that's just not considerate. Um, you know, starting to wonder if, if you were out on the highway somewhere in a car wreck. That's just not cool. But anyway, um, I want to just, in closing, you, sometimes when you're starting your own business, you have to you have to resign yourself to the fact that you got to consider strongly developing your people from scratch. That way you have some control over the ingredients. And uh, yeah, I hope that is helpful to you all. Happy Friday, and uh, hope you have great weekend plans. I don't have any weekend plans. I'm gonna spend time with the family, so. All right, y'all have a great day, bye.